Good afternoon, good afternoon, my kings and queens. This is Latoya Love here, back with another word from the Father. Um, I hope you all are having a blessed day. This is the day that the Lord has made, so I'm going to be glad and rejoice in it, and I hope you will as well. And um, I ask that you do subscribe to my channel and join the family. I am heaven sent. I am a child of God, and so are you. And if you are alive today, just be thankful to, for having breath today, you know. And I, I asked the Lord, I just went and got me some lunch, and I said, Lord, what do you want me to talk to the people about today? And, um, and I was sitting at the restaurant and he was like, go in the bathroom so that you can hear me. So the Lord said, your, your life, your story is a word. And I'm like, for today, like, God is so good, you guys. I would not be alive right now if it wasn't for the hand of God. I am who I am because of God and I know that there are many of you that are going through a lot right now going through some of the exact same situations um, Wednesday they found my friend dead um, and four months ago I lost my father so my heart is not even healed and here goes another one and that just reminds me how blessed I am how I am so blessed to be alive. And I just want to just encourage you. I'm not gonna do a long video. I just want to encourage you to do not give up. My king, my queen, do not give up. I know you're, it, it's hard, but just make sure that the Lord is in the storm with you. Don't try to get out the boat now try to get it and try to walk on water and your eyes is not fixed on Jesus when I tell you Yah is great Jehovah Jireh Elohim when I tell you Jehovah Jireh the Lord provides guys let me tell you this is everybody has a season and appointed time well this is mine and guess what this word is for somebody out there today it is yours as well and always test the spirit. Always go back and pray when you listen to the word. When I say they will know that he is God, I give all the glory to God. I take no credit because I am nothing without the Lord. Just remember, think about this. We went through everything we went through, through that fire, through that storm. It was just a test for your testimony, baby. You better come on now. You, you better walk around with your head up high on that room or that wherever you walk in, you better own it. Don't be walking around with your head down. Don't let your situation define you. See, when I was homeless on the streets, people didn't even know because they'd be like, you homeless? Yeah, I'm sleeping in the car. I'm sleeping in the car, washing up at the Taco Bell, you know, until I can get to a shower, you know. Don't judge a book by its outside appearance. That's 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 what we do as humans. We judge people on their outside, and you cannot you cannot do that. You will miss your blessing. Be nice. Be kind. Speak. I don't care if they look like a bomb. They're still a child of God. You know, you don't know what somebody's going to do. Just so you can say, hi, you're so beautiful. That can uplift them. So try being more nice. This is what I do. Try being better than I was yesterday. I've wasted so much time just sitting around. Let's not waste time. We, we, time is of the essence, babe. We, we out of time. Start your day with the Lord. Include him in everything that you do. He said that I want to be involved in every detail of your life. So when you take a shower, when you cook, when you scratch your head, 
I even asked the Holy Spirit to help me do my makeup and my eyebrows and my lashes and all that. Like, I'm so serious. You know, and, and, and I know I did a, a, a couple videos about my, la my lace front being synthetic. I was just showing you, look, I don't care what people say about me. I'm thankful for that synthetic wig because guess what? Guess what? How can... God give us more when we are not thankful for what he has in front of us today. Be glorified. I'm going to tell you something. It is, whew, I feel it in my spirit. It is time to celebrate. Do you hear me? Ooh, it's time to celebrate. God is about to blow our mind. It is our season, it is my season. I've waited so long, people. When you're going through that storm, just know that your test is uh, turning into a testimony. Just know that you have to go through it. The Lord says that you're gonna have trials and tribulations. Why are we walking around all mad and complaining when he told us that we was gonna go through this? Remember what he said. But he said, I came to bring you peace. If you ain't in peace, if you're, you're, if you're stressed out and you worry, you don't have faith in the Lord. You don't have faith. That's what displeases the Lord. So we need to do what pleases him is to trust him and believe in him. I hope that you have a relationship with him. You must have a relationship with the Lord. Just like you have a relationship with your mom, you have to have one with the Lord first. He has to be your first love. But for... And, and, and you might not be at your appointed time yet. You might be in the pruning stage, you know, where he got to sit you down and, and help build your character so you can know who you are and who you are in Christ, your purpose. You know, we got to be patient. And if you don't know, just ask the Lord to help you give you patience. Anything that you need, the Lord says he will give it to you. You just got to trust and believe in him. And I'm trusting and believing, but guess what? Walk with your head up. Start trusting and believing and stop doubting. And watch him show up and show out. I'm here to tell you. Watch him show up and show out. He uses ones like us who've been in the strip club. Who've been on drugs. Because that's I done been on drugs. The, 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 the pill could take me out because God had a purpose and a plan for me. I used to be out here selling my body. Men had to pay me. But that's not who I am. Don't let nobody dictate your character or who you are. Know who you are, baby. It, it matters what the Lord say about you. You wake up and say, I am a queen. I am a child of God. I am victorious. I am the chosen one. I am righteous. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you hear me, my brothers and sisters, my kings and queens? Do you hear me? God loves you. Give him his glory. Stop abandoning him. Stop abandoning God. Yah is good. He is so displeased with his people because we don't, we don't trust him. Just keep on sinning. That's how... Those spirits are able to come in through anger and bitterness and unforgiveness and sexual sin. Just sin. Obey his laws. Obey his decrees. D obey what he says. Live his will and not your will. And I promise you, your life will turn a whole 360. I'm standing on his promise today, y'all. That's all I've been having is Yah. Yahweh. That's who I have. That's who I look up to. That's who I want to be like. I don't want to be like a Beyonce or whatever. No, I want to be like Jesus. That's who I want to be like. And guess what? I am like him. I am like him. He is my father. He is my best friend. Do you hear me? Yes, I'm driving y'all, talking to y'all. I got to get this out. I got to let somebody know you keep hope alive. You hope in the Lord. You better not give up. 
Why give up and you don't went this long? You are not what they said that you are. I don't care what you doing. He said, come to me as you are. Don't think about and worry about what the next person got. When is your season? When is your point in time it will come? But you got to learn to have patience. First, you got to seek ye the kingdom and its righteousness, and then all things will be added. If you're not seeking ye the kingdom, come on. So while you're going through that storm, uh, invite God into that storm. Invite the Holy Spirit take a, to, to take up residence in you. God waiting on you to open up your mouth. He's already there. He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. Open up your mouth. Quit being scared. They say a closed mouth don't get fed. You better open up your mouth and speak. Do you hear me? God, what do I need to do? I need to do. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Don't go to hell for nobody. Stop sinning. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. He has to be your first love. And be kind and nice to one another. Be kind and nice to one another. God loves you. I love you. And, and for the ones, and you know if it's your season, you know if it's your appointed time, you know if it's your appointed time. And I know, I used to say that it was my season and it truly wasn't, but this is truly my season. And I'm so thankful to be alive. So many people are dying. So many, and I was on drugs, guys. And that's how I know I was created for such a time as this. I was created for such a time as this. I can't multitask. <laughs> but my message today is God is good. And let me tell you something. I'm going to do a different on that one. I'm going to let this one be short. Don't give up. Believe in Yah. Trust in Him. If you've been walking around and things ain't been going right, uh, you, you're upside down, you, you're confused, you don't know which way to go, and and, and I'm 38, and you've been and, and you just been going through the matrix, and you just been going through it and going through it. Have Jesus. Find, seek the Lord. Seek Yah. Seek Him. That's the answer. People be like, that ain't the answer to every yes it is. Don't let nobody tell you a lie. Yes it is. I'm here to tell you. I'm from the hood. I'm from the projects. I'm I, I'm from where you where most of you from. From the struggle, from striving, from for no clothes and to didn't have this and don't know what you're gonna eat to panhandle and beg and asking for money. Yes. He will do it. He will do it. He will do it. And people be like, oh, that's all she do is talk about God. I sure do. And I'm going to keep on talking about God. Who going to stop me and who going to shut me up? You will be persecuted for his name, so get ready. They can't kill this. They can't kill that soul, though. You get what I'm saying? They can't kill my soul. This is real. I've been through it. So I'm trying to help you to get through it. So you need to seek the Lord. Seek him now, not tomorrow. I used to be like, oh, I'm going to do it. There's no, do it now. All you got to do, get that Bible out. That's your instructions. And he'll start teaching you. Y'all, I ain't know nothing. I went to church and didn't know nothing about the Lord. Do you hear me? Nothing about him. Until I seeked him and he taught me. Not, not, at, not at the church. See, you got these watered down churches and they just tell you just to get your money. No. I, I started this channel, I Am My Father's Keeper, because that's what the Lord wanted me to do. To spread the, the word, to help someone who's going through the same thing I've been going through. And I'm standing, he, I'm waiting on these blessings, I'm waiting on his promises to be filled, I'm waiting on my kingdom spouse, I'm waiting, restoration has begun. I'm waiting, and I'm going to keep on praying and waiting, because it, it, it's going to go down. He's about to show up and show out. And it's going to be all for his glory. I can't wait. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. Overflow, 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 overflow of blessings. He's already done started. I'm just seeing the little thing. I'm like, wow, I'm at the gas station and somebody just gave me some money. Like, who does that? Like, come on now. People just give me stuff. Oh, you're beautiful. It, it counted all blessings, baby. Don't turn down no blessings. But remember, God loves you. Latoya love. I love you. Subscribe to this channel. Share this video. Invite God in that storm. Instead of trying to get out the boat. 
I guarantee your life started to change. Invite him in the storm. Ask him, God, be with me. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take up residence. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer, Father God. I pray that you, whoever sees this, God, I pray that you will attract who needs to see this, God. Get this word out to your people, to your nation. God, these are your people. I'm just a vessel, Lord. I give all glory to you, God. I give all glory to you because I wouldn't be because if it wasn't for you, y'all. So I pray that you would do unto them. That if you did it for me, you can do it for them, God. Even if they own drugs, if they're going down a pole, God, I say change the way they think, God. Change our minds, God. Renew our minds. Renew our thinking. Change our hearts, God. Give us hearts and mind, Christ-like minds, Lord. Help us to be just like you. Give us our direction, God. Order our steps. You can take the driver's seat. Help us to know that you need to take the driver's seat and we need to get in the back seat or on the side somewhere, but we don't need to be the driver. We just give it all to you, God. We give you our children, our clothes, our car, our money. Everything belongs to you, God. I pray in Jesus' name that they will do the same. God, we speak life, life abundantly, positive things in our lives. We speak your blessings, your miracles, overflow. God, we waiting on it. We watching, we waiting, and we waiting and watching to see what you going to do. I'm waiting in expectation, God, and I know you about to do it. You got to speak those things into existence like I'm speaking it now. I'm standing on your promises, Lord. And I pray in Jesus' name that this prayer is sealed with faith. And it's already written. It's done. So by this prayer, so whomever see this, you're going to know that the Lord... Dang, did she just speak that? Didn't she say she waiting on it? I'm waiting on him. And I know he's showing up and showing out in this hour. In Jesus' name. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all subscribe to the family. I am my father's keeper. Share this video. Do not give up. You need Jesus. That's who you need. If your life is in havoc and you don't know what you need, Jesus. He needs to be first before your children, before your husband, before anything. He is your husband. And remember, he's coming back for his bride his church. We are the church. I am his bride. You are his bride. Yah. Can you see it? Yahweh. That's the answer. God bless you. I love you. Bye.